Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance board, country, and skate dress of your dreams. I have with me Stephanie. We're in Salt Lake City at the 2019 Adult Nationals Figure Skating Championships. And this is... Now, Stephanie and I were chatting a little bit beforehand, and you had this dress custom made for you. Yeah, it was made by my coach's wife, Christy Sturgeon. All right. And where, um, where are you all based? Bountiful, Utah. Okay, so you're local, so that's good yeah. for the event. Nice. Yeah. So Bountiful, Utah, Cr or U Christy? Christy Sturgeon. Okay, perfect. So yeah, if you're interested in a dress, I'll go ahead and make sure that is in the written material as well. So now you've been dancing for? Nine years. Okay, so that's a while. How'd you place this weekend? I won my event. <laughs> you won? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. It was really fabulous. I was looking at it through the, excuse me, through the camera because I took about a bazillion pictures. So anyway, but let's talk about Stephanie's dress because this has a lot of qualities that I really like about it. The starter is, let's just start with the back here, is she has a beautiful wide open back with no mesh. Now those of you who have been following me for a while know that I love meshless skate dresses. <laughs> Though technically the sleeves are mesh, the skirt is two layers of mesh. It is white um, over peach colored with a little bit of um, gray either, did she hand paint or spray this, do you know? Uh, she blotted it with a sponge. Oh, perfect, she blotted it with a sponge, awesome. And so I love, you have no structural issues on this. Stephanie said that when she was skating, she felt like the sleeves were going to fall off, but they never did. But she felt more comfortable having this elastic up here. So this is a perfect place to put an elastic because it's high enough that it does not interfere with this beautiful open shape. Whereas if the elastic had been lower, it would have cut off the, your gorgeous skin and this really nice shape. I love the belted look. It looks fabulous up close and on the ice. So this, this is hands down my favorite back of the entire event. We'll go ahead and have you turn sideways, please, ma'am. We've got a single layer of mesh on the side. Nice vertical lines here so that when she's extended, your arms look really long and, and fabulous. And the trunks match the underskirt. This is key because when your skirt flips up, which it will because you're going so fast, it looks really obnoxious and out of place when the trunks are a different color from the underskirt. So for those of you buying a dress or getting a, um, having one custom made, actually, can I get you to hold that layer? Perfect. If you have a, let's say if she had a single layer skirt, it looks really weird to have white skirt with flesh or with peach colored trunks. Whereas when it's the same color, way better. The long lines on the sleeves are continued. Kind of, they start about the bust area and go on up. So this is pretty great. You've got a classic skirt in the front. It's really, pr it's maybe a quarter of a circle, if that much, it's not very much. Go ahead and turn around towards the back again, please, ma'am. But on the back, on the back, we've probably got about a half a circle. Now, let's see, yeah, we can't see that in the camera. It's shorter on, I really like the angled look. It's shorter on one side and goes down to the longest point over the back of the right leg. And then keep turning, please. And then it just slowly works back up. So even though it is the fullness of a classic skate skirt, it's actually, in my mind anyway, way more interesting because it's got the angles as opposed to sort of the traditional long in front, long in the back. So I really like this angled and it goes with the whole asymmetrical hand-painted look. So what is, Stephanie, your favorite thing about this dress? My, my concept for the dress was that I wanted it to be something that it would look like a sunset or like I was arriving in heaven. The, the okay. program was about meeting my daughter in heaven. Uh. So I, um, I wanted something that just felt like clouds in heaven. And, yes. um, the, and she really captured all of those things. Yeah, I, I think so. It is very much cloudy and sort of sky ethereal like. Um, is there anything structurally that you don't like about the dress? Anything that feels uncomfortable and binding other than 
No, this is one of the most comfortable dresses I own, actually. Okay, good, good. Oh, and I meant to tell you, um, while we were talking about the strap on the back, you said that it never had never fallen off, but you felt like it was going to. So from a structural design point of view, what makes this actually stay up and not fall off is this boat neck. So if this was a V-neck, it would be more likely for your shoulders to fall off. But because this sits so high, your shoulders would never actually ever come off because this acts kind of like the elastic back there. So for those of you considering an open back but you want to compensate for it, a boat neck is a great way to do that. So I think that's all for Stephanie and me. We are going to sign off. If you have enjoyed today's video, please tell all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends, subscribe to this channel and pass it on to everyone else. Leave a comment. Tell me what's your favorite thing about Stephanie's dress. Go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address. I'll sign you up for the newsletter and make sure you know when my sewing school is open for enrollment. I think that is it. Thank you so much for modeling, Thank Stephanie. You. It's been a pleasure. And Thank congratulations you. on your win. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Thank we'll you. talk to you again another time. Okay. All right. Thank good deal. You. We're done. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, that's so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. So are you finished skating for the weekend then? Yes.